there are actually other terms besides Anunnaki for the Anunnaki. Uh, Anunnaki is the one that's familiar with most people who are sort of into the ancient alien uh, idea. Uh, Anuna is another term. The Anuna and the Anunnaki are the same uh, group of deities in Sumerian Mesopotamian mythology. Uh, you also have uh, Anunnaku. If you're, again, searching on the internet or maybe some other resource, you want to try all these terms out to get to information. Uh, the term itself means of royal seed or princely seed because the Anunnaki were considered the offspring of Anu or An, uh, the great god of heaven. And also we have, again, Anunnaki. They were also the offspring of An and his consort, Ki, the heaven and earth. Uh, these, again, this divine coupling, the way the Mesopotamians conceived uh, their pantheon. So they are a, a significant group of gods. They are not the highest gods uh, in, in this mythology, but they're a significant group early on especially. Later on, they sort of get demoted to the netherworld, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, the Mesopotamian or Sumerian hell uh, might be the way we describe it. That's a little, uh, little beyond the pale, maybe a little over the top, because you can't necessarily compare our concept of hell with what the Sumerians were thinking, but it's the realm of the dead. And how they got there, we don't know from Sumerian texts. They sort of lost their elevated position. But that, in a nutshell, is who they are. They're very important, uh, even when they are relegated to the underworld.